that's happening a lot lately. WGN's Julian Cruz spoke with a father who knows the pain, the horror all too well. Julian's live on the north side with that story. Julian. Lourdes, a Florida man who lost his daughter, sharing his heart-wrenching story in order to save others. This type of tragedy more common than you might think. Since 1998, more than 800 children across the country have died as a result of being left in a hot car or a truck. But Chicago is leading the push to save lives. We had a record-breaking number of child heat stroke deaths in this country, 52. The National Safety Council with 9th District Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky say that it's time for action. The simple alert can save lives. You get a warning when you leave the keys in your car. You should get a warning if you leave a child in the car. Schakowsky sponsoring federal legislation to equip new cars with a simple alert system to remind drivers to check their back seat before exiting to save young lives. Their body is going to take on heat three to five times faster than an adult body would. Doctors warning of the dangers, the tragedy earlier this week New York, where two toddlers died, just the latest example of the dangers. And it doesn't need to be in the 90s for your car or truck to get hot, as illustrated by this display. Even though temperatures are in the mid 70s outside, it doesn't take long for this SUV's cabin temperatures to reach 115 degrees. She was in her car seat, you know, 25 minute ride, and she fell asleep. Um, and I returned to work. You know, in my mind, the thinking I had taken her back to the daycare. And that's Reggie McKinnon of Florida sharing his tragic story of how he lost his 17-month-old nine years ago. We will hear more from Reggie McKinnon about what happened to him and how it happened yeah. coming up in the 5 o'clock hour. On the north side, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Oh, so hard, those stories. Okay, Julian, thank you. Well.